Yeah, welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live Saturday Night Edition. <laughs> Why you always got some wild hat on, man? Don't hate, man. Every man, time I, you first start, of all, you got some wild hat on. I, man. I gotta show support, man. But Navy midshipman, you know, put a beating on the Air Force today, thirty-four okay, to okay. seven. So you know, right, we, right. they undefeated five and zero. Oh, so I gotta represent, man. Okay, I respect that. Army's five and oh two, so you know, number one in the number one in the conference. So yeah, too bad you don't you don't you don't put on I don't, I don't what you, know what I'm you don't listen. I'm I'm good for them as long as they're not playing the Irish, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they play Notre Dame, and you know that is what that is, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. hope the army smack Notre Dame, boy. No, that's not that'll, gonna happen, man. That'll be great. I want to see your face going like to happen. Everything's gonna change for you, B. <laughs> You're like, man, no, man, it's army, go army, you know, <laughs> hydrate, hydrate, <laughs> drink water, drink water. <laughs> oh, man. All right. For those of y'all uh, just checking in, actually, nobody's checking in right now. So we're just going to chill for a few minutes and we're going to kick it till um till we get a little more uh, traffic in the chat. But um, what's good, fellas? What's happening? G, what's good? Cooler, man. Maintaining it. Bicking back and being bull. So it look like he, he ain't got he ain't got the stunners on today. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he uh he tried Shan <laughs> Sharp me and shit. <laughs> hey, nobody tried Shan What's Sharp. What's good, Snee? He wrote an email to corporate out for me. <laughs> hey, we <laughs> hey, man, we got we got to let the people know, man. This is a serious podcast to be taken seriously. <laughs> Hey, said he went. He went back to his locker and he saw that letter on the table uh, on, the, on his locker. He got to report to the got front that, office. Got that fine real quick. Uh, uh man, what's up, Sneed? Salam, brother. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Always good to see you in here. Um, we're just gonna uh, take a few minutes here and uh, see if we get a little bit of traffic again, and then we go ahead and start going, man. Got got definitely have some interesting things to talk about. So you know, um. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, man. Freaking Saturday afternoon, man. It's been raining on and off all day, man. How's the weather up there in BMO, G? Amazing. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's real nice. Right. say the same. Yeah, right. We might have another storm coming through. I saw that um come across my phone, so we'll see. I heard. I heard it was. Yeah, they said all the Florida on the target. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The whole thing, the whole state of Florida is under the. Under yeah, the yeah, that that cone is big, man. I was like, yeah. "What's going on here?" I was like, "Damn." So we'll see what happens, man. I can, I can, I can deal with some. Uh, it is a fantastic discussion. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I, I can deal with some rain, but um, you know, when it starts really getting crazy, I don't know. Nino, Nino, what's good, my brother? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Thank you for always being in here supporting us, man. Nino, man, good thing we're not finna talk about you know who today, so I'm not even gonna bring it up. You know it's gonna come up briefly though, because we gotta talk about no, the Lakers. no, no, no. Keep him separated. He didn't play. Why not? He didn't play. Of course who, he did. Who cares? He LeBron didn't James didn't play. No. LeBron James didn't play. No, no he didn't play. He didn't yes, play. He did. No, he didn't. He was on yes, the line. That boy was in street clothes. What you talking about? No, LeBron James. Now let played. me know you didn't watch the game. No, LeBron James played. Bronny played. <laughs> I'm messing. With, is he not LeBron James? I'm, I'm messing. No, with you. I'm okay. I'm about to say. I know what. <laughs> I was waiting for you to catch on. I was like, yeah, I was like LeBron James played. No, LeBron James played. LeBron James, played. LeBron James <laughs> Junior played. Yes, LeBron that is James correct. Junior, that is correct. Jr. Played. <laughs> no, I was I'm like, I'm like, Bruce can't be serious right now. Like, really? <laughs> like, no, LeBron. James you saw that whole game, really and did. you didn't see not one Bron highlight. <laughs> 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 nah, man, you, you know got, be, you got me with that one. That yeah, was you know, I'd be dumbing out sometimes, man. You know, uh, yeah, that was a good have, one. I don't have a whole lot of sense, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's, that's that army medicine they be shooting in your man, veins. That's, that's, that's not camp. what that is, man. No, yeah, that's, man. That's not all, all them shots they gave you, <laughs> man. You got the same shots, man. You know, we all Bro. Got the same shots. So let, let me ask you a question because I never did so, ask so. this question to anybody in the army. So did y'all want like? Did they make it the hall of shots for y'all too? 
No. Like when y'all walk through, like they made it look like it was a gauntlet. It was like a gauntlet when you go into boot camp, right? Mm-hmm. And you walk through, like you got your sleeves up, you roll your mm-hmm. sleeves up, and it's. <laughs> no, it was. It was. Like just... No, it, Yo, it was crazy. Nah, no. it was nuts. It was no. nuts. No, we went and got our shots. The only thing that messed me up when we came out from getting the shots, we got back in formation. And um, remember this G drill song did a uh he did a, a open ranks or no, not open ranks, he did a, a half right face. And we like, what could we possibly have done that we were about to get smoked out here just from the <laughs> shot? But really, right? He just made us do the 10 push-ups just to you know work the shot through your arm a little bit so it didn't like bubble up right under your skin. Oh, I was really thinking, like, what could we possibly have done? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not that they needed a reason, but, you know. <laughs> hey, y'all got them shots halfway? You already know. Oh, God. <laughs> Dang it, man. <laughs> good times, good times. I'll right, tell you, man. Let's... Hey, Navy ain't no better, bro. We, we got the – they do the peanut butter. I believe it's a uh, – not penicillin. What is that? I forget what shot that's called, but they call it the peanut butter shot, right? And it's, mm-hmm. you get shot in the, you know, in the in the rear. I'm gonna say rear to keep it clean, mm-hmm. right? And once you're done, like it's one of the worst shots that you mm-hmm. guys could get, right? Like I'm talking, all you hear, oh, <laughs> the glute. like when when these folks when these folks are taking it, pause. But mm-hmm. uh, I mean, everything's gonna sound pause worthy. But <laughs> anyway, after you're done, you know what I mean? You okay. you you put your uniform back on, you put everything uh-huh. back up. And they make these folks go sit Indian style on the hard <laughs> floor, G. Damn. On the hard floor. So, mind you, I'm over here waiting my turn. I'm like, damn, I'm hearing these folks like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the, the women yeah, screaming, yada, 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 yada. So, me, lucky, lucky me, they called. They was like, all right, Bass, walk up. They saw I had my red dog tags. I'm allergic to penicillin. Okay. And it was like, all right, go over there to the counter. I'll go over to the counter. Get these, you know, they had me a subscription and they tell me to go sit down. I'm like, wait, I ain't got to take the shot. So I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, cool. Man, I watch everybody just like they, they're they trying their hardest. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we ain't get that. Trying to sit down and lean on one uh, side, man. Bro, it, it uh, was torturous for him, bro. It was funny for me to watch. Him, but right. man, yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Oh, oh, man. All right. Well, let's, let's go ahead and get started, fellas. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we bore the people with all these wild military stories and whatnot, all the oh, ones we didn't did do a military show, things. man. <laughs> yeah, we need to have stories, a military bro. segment one day. You, know, what? you, you already day. know it. You already know it, G. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man! All right, so uh, we got some good topics for you all today. Um, obviously, we got uh, some some good uh, NFL games coming up uh, tomorrow. Uh, two main ones that we really want to get into a little bit is uh, Pittsburgh and Dallas, as you can see in the thumbnail, and the Ravens and the Bengals. Those are huge. Uh, we got the notification, not the notification, but we were um, made aware that Derrick Rose is going to be retiring. He's after 16 years in the league. And uh, so we're going to we're going to talk about that. Most specifically, is he a Hall of Famer? So that should be interesting. And um, this the third topic is a topic I've. I've been trying to avoid it for a while because it's got so many tentacles and really it's a rather exhausting topic, but it is a huge topic in, in the sports world. So it's something that um, I think I'm going to have to get into. And uh, so ooh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. But, um, yeah, we're going to talk about the the drama in the WNBA and Caitlin Clark and all that good stuff. And, we, you know, we've talked about Caitlin Clark on this channel here before, but it's just I don't even know, man. It's a lot to get into. It's a lot to get into. So. We are going to, we're going to talk about all that. But before we get started, you know what time it is. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up if you're enjoying the content make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment all that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm helps us find more sports fans helps more sports fans find us and finally make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i can't all right ravens and bengals um this is arguably the other best game of the weekend, right? So obviously we have uh, Pittsburgh and Dallas, and mm-hmm. we've got uh, Ravens and the Bengals. So 
let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about that. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let my main man G go ahead and kick that off. G. He's been way, he been itching for it. Like, oh, <laughs> Ravens and Bengals, Ravens, man. Huge, man. huge, huge game this weekend. Um, yeah, go go ahead and kick it off for us, man. And then we'll we'll have some more discussion because, man, I think it it could be real ugly for the Bengals if and when they don't pull this thing out. Go ahead. You muted, bro. You muted, bro. Still die for these guys, and I think one of the things we talked about was, um, is this a must win for the Bengals, right? And mm -hmm. if they lose this game, are they out of the playoffs? Uh, so it's a lot of. Um, I look at the Ravens, and, and if I had to pick, like, just some keys to winning Sunday, I say, you, you know, pound, pound the basket, the football, mm -hmm. you know, run Derrick Henry. Uh, I, I like to see the pass game kind of come to life. But if, if not, then, you know, you control the the control the, uh, control the, uh, 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 the game with the, with the run. Absolutely. Yeah, control the game with the run, shrink the, shrink the field. Yes. Um, uh, I like to see Nate Wiggins on chase. Um, just because I, I think that's a bad matchup because, for a rookie. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you put you gonna put a rookie on him? I know, I know Marlon has been, you know, he he hasn't given up a pass over 15 yards. Mm -hmm. like right? yeah, yeah, you put him on there, but I just every time match number. So I like you to got see safety help over the top of Kyle Hamilton too. So you know, yeah, but not all the time. Um, <laughs> the, the, not all the time. Not all the time, man. Like. <laughs> No, not all the time. Not I always talk time. back. I always go back to that game maybe two years ago now. I think it's two years. Um, where the Cincinnati Bengals just they came out, they was healthy, they was clicking on every cylinders, and they put the Ravens away in three mm -hmm. quarters. Yeah. Um, it was terrible, man. Because it was like, would right. never let that game go. No, no. Right. We all we all have games like that, you know. That's birth in yeah, I couldn't, bro. Like, <laughs> man, listen, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I'm sitting there and uh the, the you know cheerleader. Going to cheerlead in the air, so I'm mm. at like the hundred level, right? While mm. cheerleaders go in the air, I'm gonna score a touchdown. They go back in the air, they score another goddamn touchdown. I'm like, I'm like, this mind is going on right now, bro. Yeah, it was bad, man. It was pretty Stop bad. Going up in the air. Yeah, yeah. It was, but it was actually back from when Lamar did that spin move on, mm -hmm. and that you know that 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 Michael Vick. It was more like a Madden spin move or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they called it the B button. I think I, B button. Yeah, right. B -button. Yep. B -button, yeah. <laughs> that spin move was crazy. Um, that was a yes. video game move. It was crazy. But mm -hmm. back to, mm -hmm. you know, the keys to victory, I think, you know, running the ball, using mm -hmm. utilizing Derrick Henry to, yeah. uh, you know, kind of shrink the field for us. On. Those key third third and shorts, we need to execute on those. Um, yeah. I, that's that's going to be a big play. If we can't get those those – Third and shorts, which we shouldn't have problems with. You know, we talk about Todd Munkin and his sometimes he go off the rails with his pay, play calling. Yeah. So, um, but I think um, we're going to see a different team um, uh, as we continue to dominate. Like, uh, just looking at last year, how Lamar was able to attain uh, the MVP once he, once he, once they got the rolling, that was pretty much, that was a wrap mm -hmm. for every major quarterback that he had to see. Like, I think he takes that personal. And so, uh, for the Bengals, um, I don't really know what they're gonna be able to do, bro. Like they just seem like as if they're not in sync. Um, Joe Burrow is, you know, supposed to be top five quarterback in the league. I mean, from that great draft class, right? Um, he just hasn't been himself lately, and I don't know if it's if it's just confidence. Um, Crazy part is he's playing well, though. Um, you say ahead. he's playing well. Yeah, he's playing well, but you know. Hmm. Yeah, ahead, I don't man. know. I don't know how he plays well with that the record, but um, I guess playing well and winning games is two different things. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, I don't know, man. I, I I don't really know when it comes to the Bengals. I I feel like we're gonna beat them by fourteen. I picked the Ravens, of course. I think everybody picked the Ravens on this panel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, I mean. I don't really need to go into any further detail because mm -hmm. at one o'clock tomorrow we're gonna see the uh the fireworks. So well, yeah, and I, I heard that they was get thrown there. It. They were trying to flex the yeah. game to like eight o'clock Sunday night. Eight. I think that's. I think that was that game. But CBS yeah. and one door or something. 
You mm-hmm. now nah, you can't flex that because nobody's nobody's gonna give up. Um, NBC is not gonna give up the Cowboys. So right now, yeah, nah, bigger market, not. absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, Joe Burrow is he's currently eighth in the league in passing. So he's completing seventy one percent. He's just under a thousand yards, seven touchdowns, one pick. Like he's playing well now. At the same time, you know, got to got to figure out how to win, right? You got to win these games, but not always his fault either. You know, the defense doesn't show up, etc. But again, the quarterback gets credit for the wins. You got to get credit for them losses too. So, you know, um, transformer, you want to go ahead before I um. Uh, I mean, uh, just reiterating on a piece that I gave on uh, Wednesday. You know, mm-hmm. it, it is do or die for the Bengals, but right now so. it's just it's it's do what you can. Honestly, mm-hmm. uh, the Ravens. I think I think Todd has it finally figured it out. Um, me, I'm a very advocate of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm-hmm. Todd, it ain't broke. <laughs> it ain't broke. <laughs> it's not broken. All right, and so yes. don't try to fix it. Don't try to be yeah. cute. Don't, don't try do to. Too much. Don't, don't do too much. Don't mm-hmm. make Lamar all of a sudden throw the ball 25, 30 times. All right. Keep it mm-hmm. on the floor. Keep it on the ground. Keep it on the ground. Uh play action pass. Then you can put it in the air, taking everything exactly. off. Exactly. You know, did you see how easily Lamar was throwing that thing last week? Yeah. Because Derrick Henry loosened him up early. Pause. So he did that and it made everything else easy. I don't get how Todd Munkin is a national championship OC. He's a former professional OC, and now he's mm-hmm. a professional OC again. Mm-hmm. I don't get why or how he doesn't understand that. It seems like a simple concept to me. No, and it's it's that simple, especially against a Bengals mm-hmm. defense who it just truly isn't good. I believe they're bottom mm-hmm. 25 in the league. Um, I mean, mm-hmm. under 25 in the league as far as uh, depth rate. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. I right. think the Ravens right now, they're, they're on a roll. Right now they have their next game following that will be against Washington, uh, Jaden Daniels. So I think they not necessarily need to look at the next game, but um, this is a game where you kind of just putting an extra stamp on the fact that you guys got it figured out and we're the mm-hmm. best run team in football. And honestly, Bengals, you just pray to keep it close. <laughs> you, right, right. you pray to try to keep it close. Right. Um, the only thing about you, you don't want to go down too big because if you go down early, they're, they're just going to run the air out of that football That's it. and, That's and it. it's yeah. over and it's going to be mm-hmm. over for you. So, yeah. you know, I think I, it's, I think it's a sound win for the Ravens, honestly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the, the only thing I'll say is that because this is an AFC North game, it, you you got to punch him in the mouth early. Bro. Like, yes. You yeah. Him away early. Um, we can't have Joe Burrow coming in and, and no, you can't have him get hot. <laughs> no, you get cannot. Hot, right? Oh yeah, they if he comes to get hot, you got a different problem. Yes, yeah, they got to win yeah. last year. So yeah. maybe they went to therapy. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's tough when you look at this because you say, okay, uh, let's say Cincinnati loses this game, which we all picked them to do. It's like okay, now they're what one in four on the year, and their chances of making the playoffs are almost impossible. And I have some interesting um, stats on that that I'm going to play for you in a minute. But um, let's see. After the Ravens, their slate is not terrible because they have the Giants, the Browns, the Eagles, Mm -hmm. the Raiders, Ravens again, Chargers. So really, they can go three and three in that next one. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you you say, okay, just hypothetically, obviously we all pick the Ravens. Let's say hypothetically they pull that off. Now they're suddenly two and three, right? Okay, you're alive a little bit. And you go three and three and the rest three. of the way. Where does that put you at? Five and three? Like you're in a decent spot to try and finish out the season. So they know how they know how badly they needed this. They need this win. And um, I think they're gonna come out ready for it. But to G's point, uh, if the Ravens come out super physical, like they're capable of doing, and yeah. I, I know G knows this. I don't know if you know this, Transformer. The Ravens are number one in the league in total offense. You wouldn't think so, but they are. And they're I, averaging I almost 27 a game. So, like, when, you know, when they get yeah. going, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no absolutely. I mean, I, I mm-hmm. think I made that that uh, commentary last week. I mean, the, the amount of points that they're scoring per game, that's mm-hmm. like they're getting the ball down the field. Correct. You know? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, here's some comments uh, from First Take, I think, uh, yesterday. Stephen A. and Chris Canty were um, discussing this, this game and uh, talking about Joe Burrow. Because Chris Canty, he's been – He's been hard on Joe Burrow maybe for the last couple of years now, basically um, in terms of Joe Burrow's um, lack of health and and him saying that 
he thinks that Joe Burrow is living too long off of that Super Bowl appearance, which, of course, they didn't win. Now, if they had won, all right, cool, but they didn't. So and obviously, Chris Canty, he's a champion, so he can he can speak to that. But um, I thought it was interesting what they had to say and the stats that Stephen A ended up giving in this. I thought it was very good. And I'll come back and say why I thought that was interesting. In his four seasons in the National Football League, he's been hurt twice. The two, te- the two seasons he wasn't hurt, both times he was in an AFC championship game. One time he beat Patrick Mahomes to get to a Super Bowl. And we understand that the brother's big time national champion at LSU. You outtra- outplayed Trevor Lawrence, which ain't saying much these days right now, the way Trevor Lawrence has been looking at Jacksonville. He's got to get that back <laughs> together. But in the end, when I'm looking at Joe Burrow, I- I'm just looking at him and that offense getting better. I'm looking at Higgins back. I'm looking at Jamar Chase playing with a $50 million insurance policy because he didn't get his bag yet. And then for them to go out there, with that level of adversity. Watching the offense last week, yes, it was against Carolina. I got to take that into consideration. But in the end, I'm just looking at Cincinnati and what I've known them to be when Joe Burrow is behind center. And when the season wanes, he's giving no one a reason not to believe in what he brings to the table. There's no reason. If you want to have distrust for Joe Burrow, it needs to be in the month of September. When you're As the season wanes, November, December, that's not a reason to distrust this man. He shows up when it counts. That's his yeah. reputation. Andy? That's his yeah. MO. That's his resume. Yeah, that's great, Stephen A., but, but you still can't explain away to 0 and 3 start, and then them getting their first win against a team that benched their starting quarterback after week two. I mean, that that's on the board. Now, there's only been one team since 2000s to make the playoff starting out 0 and 3, and that was the 2018 Houston Texans, and you can understand that because Deshaun Watson was coming off of a neat reconstruction. There have been, what, three teams that have made the playoff since we expanded to a 17 game regular season, and out of 25 teams that have started out 1 and 3, and that was the 2021 Steelers, Eagles, and Patriots. Two of those teams had quarterbacks that were first time starters, and then you had a 39-year-old Ben Roethlisberger in his final season of his career. So you can understand the slow start there. What nobody can do is explain why the Cincinnati Bengals got out to a slow start this year. I get that you bring up the years past, but Joe Burrow was hurt in training camp, didn't play in preseason games in years past. He did both of those this year. He had Jamar Chase on the field week one, and they still lost to the New England Patriots. They had a must-win game two weeks ago against the Washington Commanders at home and lost, where Joe Burrow got outplayed by a rookie quarterback. Now, I get it. Defense optional in that game, but the red zone was the key difference, and Jaden Daniels was better in the red zone than Joe Burrow. So all of these reasons why you keep talking about the Cincinnati Bengals being able to pull out of this nosedive just don't pass the smell test to me, because I told you last year when they started 1-3, 1-3, their season was over with. You didn't listen then, and you're not listening now. One pick in 134 attempts this season. That's number one. Number two, this is Joe Burrow's record month by month in his career. 7, 10, and 1 in the month of September. 8 and 8 in the month of October. 7 and 5 in the month of November. 6 and 2 in the month of December. 7 and 2 in the month of January, including 5 and 2 in the postseason. So when we ask the question, do you trust Joe Burrow to turn the team to turn the season around? Do you trust Joe Burrow? That person. What it shows is that as the season wanes, he elevates. He elevates. Those are crazy numbers, right? In terms of oh, for, for most teams, if they go down what what is it, one in four after losing this week, it's pretty much a wrap for their season. But that just shows you can't if Joe Burrow is healthy, you can't you can't count those guys out. Um, gee, what were your thoughts on those numbers that Stephen A just gave us? Uh, I don't really have any um <clears throat> any feedback on those numbers because you know we did we haven't seen him play last year half a season this is a new season right and so far you know he's three what one and three right now one and three yep. yes yeah and so I, I try not to i try to stay away from stats like that because you know the, the game changes every year there's bigger faster uh more intelligent players in the field than it was last year defensive coordinators are starting <laughs> to get better like once they got tape on you that's a wrap. We didn't see him last year, so you know the the the, the little bit of games that he did play. Um, that's all we can go off, of, right? We can't really say that like last year they would have did anything. But his body of work before us up, he Joe Burrow, right? It's Joe Burrow. We agree that he's top five out of that draft class. I mean, um, and probably like top ten quarterback in the league right now. Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, I mean, even with him not playing last year, we still believe mm-hmm. that everybody's going to hold them to hold him to a certain account. Now, uh, Mr. Cash had it when he said, "Hey, listen, man, like that shit, that ship sailed, right? Like, what, what have you done for me lately?" And I know that, like, you know, you got you got wide receivers that don't have contracts, want to franchise, 
Um, what what is the reason why the ownership isn't making a deal with these guys? Right, like that's the last thing you want to do is be making a playoff run and your guys aren't paid, right? Or they you don't they don't feel valued. Um, and so that that could be one of those things that disrupt. But just based off what he said, I thought I thought those numbers was crazy. Um, but I'm sure if you look at a lot of players, um, that's kind of how it goes as the season go along. Sometimes you get easier, you get easier games. We don't know what games he played. He didn't go into detail on, and who he was playing. Um, I think this was like the last year was like the first year we saw a lot of like interconference play towards the end of the season. And so um, I think this year is the same thing as well. There'll be a lot of like um, a, 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 a bulk of your conference games, the AFC North is played at the end of the season versus the middle of the season. So if he playing out of conference teams and he's losing early on in the season, like, I mean, I, I don't know, bro. Like, I, I don't really know what you want me to say here. It's like no, I, I, the guy using a stat no, just, He's just you know, bringing yeah. the stats. He's bringing the stats, and we play week to week. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Players play week to week. They, they're not mm-hmm. paying attention to that. Um, I, but, yeah, I think, I, I think I he's, there's no question that he's not, you know, He's not mm-hmm. one of those guys, right? There's no mm-hmm. question that he's not one of those guys. We wouldn't even be talking about it right now. It'd be like, oh, yeah, we're going to steamroll these guys. Mm-hmm. But we did make that caveat, like, hey, if this dude get hot, we got to punch him in the mouth first. Because if yeah. this dude get hot, then, you know, it might it, it's going to be a dog fight, and we don't that ain't yeah. what we want. Not no. saying it's going to happen, but. No, I got you, know, you. Any given Sunday, or, or, mm-hmm. you know, or Monday, or Thursday. Now, so. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's really Occasional awkward. Saturday, too. I hate yes. Yeah. You know, later on in the season. But yeah, yeah he, he's that guy. Transformer, how'd you, how'd you how'd you take what Stephen A. and Canty had to say? I mean, Stephen A. was pretty accurate, right? Joe Burrow does show up, right? I'm not finna sit here at all, and I'm gonna put this one and three record on Joe Burrow's shoulders. I'm not right. Game one, yeah, okay, Rusty, you're coming back. I look at game two, right? You're playing against the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm-hmm. He had the lead before Patrick Mahomes got the ball. There you go. Yeah, that, that, so so who lost the game? Me. Did Joe Burrow lose the game right. or did the defense lose the game? All right, right, let's go on to week three. Um, he comes out, scores immediately. I think he scored in the first two or three possessions. What was the score of that game? 38 33. So Joe Burrow, yeah, 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 I scored 33 points. My defense got 38 hung on him. Like, what, what else do you want me to do? And then you know, yeah. you finally get the win against Carolina. I look at this right here. Offensive ranking, they're ninth in pe- ninth in points, twelve and twelfth in yards. Defensive okay. ranking, twenty seventh in points, fifteenth mm. in yards. Right. Defense, can, can my defense do something for me? Pick, pick your game up. You know, pick my game up. Like yeah, we can't I'm, make like, no excuses. I'm, 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 no but you, you, I can't, I can't blame him for when I'm losing a game and I don't have the ball in my hands. Yeah, that's. Now, if I lose I've, the I've game, then that's different. That. So. I'm 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 not gonna I'm a big guy and saying he has one turnover you know, in so the far game. Season, you know? Yeah, if my numbers look good and if I left the last time you saw me on the field, I had the lead. I got us. I got us here, right? Yes. And my defense constantly just gives it up, and they mm-hmm. give up 38 points the next game. What, what, what more do you want me to do, right? So I'm not gonna just say it's the that same thing. All being on him, man. It's the same no? thing with that. It's the same thing with that. He has a lot of empty cal- calories. No, but, but no, see, Dak's different. I, I'm not for them. No, that's not good. Dak beat down 28, 28 points, then all of a sudden now he wants to add up. Joe mm-hmm. Burrow literally comes in a game, and he's he's keeping it competitive, and he right. leaves the game with the with lead. lead. Dak, Dak's not leaving the game with the lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same thing I was saying about when, when people talk about Brock Purdy, and I'm like, uh, Brock Purdy left the Super Bowl with the lead. He got off the field. This team was winning. That's not yeah, his fault. But not at the same time, dollars. what what happens is this: when you are making two hundred fifty million dollars, and you are you're the golden boy, you're that guy, and you got one of the best receiving core in the league. Yeah, yeah, you would get the credit for the win, so you have to take the you gotta take the um you gotta take the hit for the loss. I see, I see they both sides. Lamar. What they told the law, Lamar, you gotta score more points. Uh, listen, I I see both sides of it. I I, yeah. I got both. I see both sides of it. So. Yeah, so th- this is um I definitely think it's a must win uh for the Bengals. Unfortunately, they won't. <laughs> but I do think it's a it's a must win situation, but with that said, just hearing what we heard about how Joe Burrow continues to raise his level of play as the season progresses, it's hard to say you can really count those dudes out. But 
at the same time, and this is Canty's argument, how long can he continue to live on that Super Bowl appearance? What, uh, two years ago, three years ago now? You know, uh, two years, so, yeah, 2022. Right. So, you know, yeah, it the is following really, season uh, is when he got hurt, and then now we're on this season. Last season, he got hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but no, no, since the Super Bowl has been three years, I'm sorry. Super Bowl was 2021. That's right. Okay. He made it to the conference so championship the following season. Right. And he lost right, against right. Patrick Mahomes and then yes. the injury. And then now we're here. Mm hmm. So, yeah. All right, gentlemen. Well, that's all we got, man. That is what we got for tonight. For those of y'all who uh, made it through, stayed with us all the way. I know that um, WNBA topic, I was talking a lot and I really got into a lot of stuff, but I appreciate y'all sticking with me and uh, listening to what I had to say and allowing me to vent. And uh, hopefully you took something from that, whether you agree or not. Um, hopefully you did. Uh, I appreciate y'all fellas, of course, for being here with me. Absolutely. Uh, if, if you haven't already, man, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and that share on the way out. Appreciate y'all. And uh, yeah, what, what's today? Today's Saturday, right? Yes, today's Saturday. Saturday. So we'll be on tomorrow night. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. So we'll be back with you all tomorrow night for the conclusion of, um, we'll be back with you all tomorrow night for, yeah. Well, not the conclusion. Well, not conclusion. Yeah, right. but the end of Sunday night. night's games. Yeah, 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 the end of Sunday night's game to do to do the Sunday wrap. So that should be fun. But um, yeah, I guess that's about it. All right, y'all. We out. Well, 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 before we leave, man, oh. we can't we can't you What's know up, not not give you a round of applause, man. Shout out to Bruce, exactly. his therape therapeutic session. You know <laughs> what I mean? He, he he passed with flying colors, like you said, team. You know this is more than sports. This is more than podcasts. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just gotta air it out. Mm -hmm. You gotta release your demons, release the end, like with the thoughts in your brain, just let it go. As yeah, you saw, Bruce came on this thing looking like Brock Lesnar. You know what <laughs> I mean? Now, now he's relaxed, you know, Relax. looking like he's ready to go sip a Mai Tai on the Miami beach. So <laughs> no, no, shout no. out Bruce, man, the therapeutic <laughs> session, guys. <laughs> oh man, yeah, man. Yeah, it's good. I love the show, man. I love the show. Like I just, I just want y'all to know, man, Transformer and G, y'all know this already, man. This is like, it's it's a lot of work for me, but this is something like I love doing. Like, this is a real thing for me and I'm trying to make it into something and I love doing it. And, you know, that's why I always ask for, you know, you guys' help, you being the viewers and the listeners um, to help me make this thing grow, man. So for those of y'all who are consistently here, again, I appreciate you. So I'm going to stop yapping now and we're going to go ahead and let y'all get out of here and Go continue to watch college football or whatever it is y'all want to do, man. Y'all have a good night. Yes, sir. And uh, we will see you tomorrow night um, as we wrap up the NFL Sunday. And we out. Peace.